Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Amanda with Healthy Glow, and today I'm going to be testing out the new Jane Iredale Spring 2020 collection. We just got it in, it's live on the site, and I am so excited about it. Um, I'll show you really quick some of the shades that we'll be using. So she has another kit that is available, and this is called the Pure Basics. I love it because it's got the um, softer neutral colors and then a couple dark ones thrown in there. I really love, um, this one is called Leggings. Um, and that is such, such a good color. So I will use that all the time. Obviously the other ones too, but um, I really like that with my complexion and blue eyes and blonde hair. That is a color that I gravitate towards. So really excited about this. It They are matte formulas, so there's no shimmer in them, um, which is a good thing. We do get that question a lot with um, some of our other shades, like the Solar Flare palette people really like, but not everybody likes to have like that shimmery color in it. So this is the new palette, um, along with my favorite blush that was discontinued and she's bringing it back. So this is called Awake. It's a really nice soft pink, it has no um, like shimmer in this as well. So this is another matte color. It, I, I believe it's similar to the Barely Rose, um, but I love the softness in, in this color. So really great. I've even used it on my eyes. Um, I like that as well. So the last thing is she's got three new Triple Lux lipsticks. So. I will start with this one. It's really pretty. This is called Ellen. Um, it's a really bold, like corally color. So, so pretty. Um, I will test it a little bit later after I do my face, but just wanted to kind of give you guys um, a heads up on the colors. And then this one is Stephanie. So this is a good, closer to, um, not a nude color, but it ha it's more on the nude side and then it's got a pinky color to it. So if you like um, Susan, so I love the shade Susan, this one's lighter than that. So this is a great everyday wear or if you're gonna go for more of like the soft um, nude look, that one is it. And then we've got Sakura and this one is more on um, the peachy side of a nude. So it's light, it's not super dark, um, another really great everyday color. These are all amazing for spring. Um, so let me start with my face first. I always start with the Smooth Affair for oily skin. Um, sometimes I mix it with my foundation. I'm gonna be using the BB cream, but I'm going to do it by itself. And you don't need a lot, just a little bit. This stuff smells so fresh. It kind of smells like lemonade or orange blossoms to me, kind of mixed together. So I can't go without this. So, so good. It's nice on its own too. Um, right off the bat, it just gives me that nice, just refreshing glow. I love that. I'm breaking out a little bit. I've got a lot of redness today. So that's why I'm choosing the BB cream. I also like the Beyond Matte Foundation or um, the Pure Pressed Powder. I really use them all. I also have the Amazing Base, but they all do different things. So the BB cream is great for full coverage and that is what I'm going for today um, with my breakouts and redness. This really hides it for me and blends it all in. So I, I didn't do that much. Um, I probably won't even use all of this. Um, and I'm going to use the flock sponge to apply it today. I usually like to start by putting dots on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. and then I will blend it all in. So right away, see that redness? This is so great at taking that away. And those are my breakouts right there. My nose tends to get red there as well. Um, so I just blend it all in. Okay, so I also like to do my eyelids as well. Um, they're a little bit red. I like my skin to have all the same skin tone. So I have some left on here and I'm just gonna kind of take what's there and just apply. 
go around the eyes, make sure it's all blended in. So that is the BB cream. I'm using shade BB4. This is the best one for me. It's more of a neutral. Um, I was using six and it's a, li it's a little bit on the darker side and maybe a little bit pinky for my, um, my skin is, I don't know, a little more olivey and I needed the neutral and the BB4. So great shade, really matches well. Look at all the redness that was gone. I had some major breakouts right there. They are hidden very nicely now. Um, and then I'm going to take my second favorite product by Jane Iredale and that is the Circle Delete. So this is an under eye product. Um, I've seen other people use it other areas to brighten, like maybe their chin or if their nose is red, they'll put it there. Um, let me open it up. The darker shade is great for canceling out um, redness. So this one, I use my fingers to apply this. They are pigmented and you don't need a ton. So I just got a little bit and I just press here to kind of instantly brighten up my under eyes. It does help with puffiness. It's got, um, I believe, some cucumber extract in it, so it smells really nice and fresh. Um, and I do bring this up here, again, to even that out and give my eyelids a little bit of a base before I put the um, eyelid primer on it. So again, just tapping it on the darker side. The lighter side is great for brightening as it's quite light. Um, but I will use a little bit of that as well. So I, this one, I just do a tiny bit and just kind of bring it like this above the um, cheekbone. And instantly it just brightens my eyes for me. So that is why I love and use and always recommend the Circle Delete to anybody. Um, it's just a really great product. There's a Circle Delete too for people that have a little bit darker skin um, and might have a deeper pigment under their eye that they need to correct. So I do recommend that if you're not as fair as myself, the, the lighter color, and this is pretty light and not a lot of people can really use it. Um, next, before I move on, I will take my, just our plain old matte powder. So this is good to eliminate oils. I have oily skin and there's certain areas I like to apply it so that this really does last all day and it will, it'll last about eight hours or more. So I am going to just tap into it and then tap off the excess, which was, um, and then I place this on my chin, under my eyes, and my forehead. So I just kind of start here and dust it on. And then I will take a little bit. So I put this under my eyes because um, the Circle Delete has oils in it. And when I put my mascara on, the oil pulls the mascara. It basically takes it off. And then I get the um, black marks under my eye and above my eye. So I don't wanna do that. And I really like to make sure people know to do that. It's very helpful so that you're not always, you know, checking and rubbing your eyes underneath to make sure you don't have that black. So this is the amazing matte loose powder. So doesn't make it too matte. I still love the look of the glowy, um, the glowiness from the BB cream. And then before I move on to the spring collection, I'm just gonna do a little bit of So Bronze 3 to um, kind of accentuate my cheekbones and I like to do it on my forehead. So I'm going to take the chisel, chisel powder brush and a little bit of the bronzer from this and just like lightly glide it here and around. Not too much, but I like a little bit of the sun-kissed look. I am um, on the more fair side, and that's fine, but I like it to be a little bit um, warmer. So, not a lot, just a little bit here. And under the chin. This way, it really draws attention to this part of your face, and you're creating, see that cheekbone I've created now with that, and then I'm at the end, I'm gonna do, well next I'll do the blush, the new blush, and you can see it right there, it's so pretty. Um, okay, so done with the So Bronze 3, and then here is the Awake. I, again, 
this is really pigmented all of her blushes are so you don't need a ton but it's obviously better to build than take away so um just gonna tap it maybe twice three times and just do it right here such a nice soft color So that is the Pure Pressed Blush in Awake. Okay, so next I am going to do the, we are gonna work with the new eyeshadow palette, which again is Pure Basics. But first I'm gonna put on the um, canvas for the lids and this is in shade Petal. So it's a really soft pink. It's really pretty, a little bit shimmery so you can wear this on its own. Um, I use my finger, just swipe it, ignore my nail polish. My nails need to be done really bad. Okay, so once that is set, this is a great primer and it helps your um, your eyeshadow last all day and not move. So I haven't played around with this yet. Um, this is new and this will be fun. So I'm not gonna do anything wild. I really want like a natural look and these are all great colors to create that. Um, you can do a lot with these. You can be really soft and subtle and then you can take some of these deeper colors and make like more of a dramatic look but we are just gonna keep it simple today. Um, I am, let's see, I don't have, the brush I want today. So honestly, I'm just gonna use the brush it comes with to show you guys. And I'm going to do the first color and that is called Lace Panties. So we will start with that. I'm gonna do it in here so I can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna do it at the base of my lid. It's like a really, a really soft pink. Let's see if you can see it better in there just at the base and then I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. I have smaller eyelids, so I've got a little bit less room to work with. Um, that is a really nice color. Okay, so that is just a small um, layer of the biggest one on here, lace panties, and then um, sounds so funny <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the next one which is t-shirt and that is more of a cream and I'm gonna place it right in the center of my lid and doing that gives the appearance of a bigger eye so more like an open eye a little bit bigger I I really like creating that for myself um, everyone's eyes are different so you can play around with it but that's just what I'm gonna do today so let's see if I can show you guys the difference So see how it kind of opens this up a little bit more? So I really like that look. I, I like to also do that when I have something that's more, has some shimmer in it, because that does it even more. Um, so just really soft. I really love this. I haven't used it yet. Um, and then with more of a fluffy brush, I am going to take the peachy color and swipe it in the crease of my eye. See how pretty that is right away. I just love the look of that. Um, I also like it with the turquoise that I have on. So I'm not taking much product. I'm just kind of moving it around. So I start in the corner and just like swipe it into the center. Just bring it in. Okay, so that, let's see, <laughs> that is what I have so far, really simple. I could leave it at this and just do mascara, um, but I, let's see, I like, I wanna try this brown and see what it looks like as eyeliner. I've got, it's hard to see, I've got the smudge brush, so it's really um, short bristles and thin. So this is really great for creating 
you can do a, a eyeliner with it or um, just to do more of a smudged look. That's why it's called the smudge brush. So I'm gonna take the brown one. That one is called Classic Pumps. Just tap it on. And then kind of bring it up a little bit. At the end, I'll spray the hydration spray and that will also help kind of lock this in. And I'll go on the bottom and connect this. So, still a soft look, but see how this kind of dresses it up a little bit? So pretty. And then I'll do the other eye. I'm gonna drag it on the bottom of my lid or my eye to make it actual eyeliner on underneath too, but I could also stop there. It's really pretty like that too. Okay, so now I've got it as eyeliner with the smudge brush and I am gonna take some of the, um, let's see, that one is leggings and I also like to add color into my eyeliner as well. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this one and just press it under the eye. So I've still got the eyeliner there. So they're basically in layers. I've got the eyeliner and then I put this color right underneath it. With the eye, with the colors being um, more in the neutral side, it doesn't look too dramatic, but you can, it looks really nice. You could definitely dress it up and go out at night like this. So um, I'm loving this palette so far. So I'm going to stop there. So this is the look. And then I'm gonna do mascara. So I've got the, the Pure Lash um, Lash Extender and Conditioner. This I use every single day, I love it. Just one quick layer. I do one layer and then do the mascara on that side at the same time. Okay, and then I'm using the Jane Iredale, the, um, which one is this? This is Jet Black in the Pure Lash. So I like the, let's see, I like the brush on this one. So it's got like the top part has longer bristles and the bottom is flat and short. So you can kind of get in the different areas of your eye better. The key to mascara for me is blinking and doing it like that. And trying my hardest not to get it on my top lid because that inevitably always happens. And I, I don't put this on my bottom lashes because they are a little bit longer and they usually touch my skin anyways and I don't wanna make it um, even more. Okay, so now I'm gonna just run a little bit on the bottoms. Okay. 
And lastly, I will do a lipstick. I don't know what color I wanna do. Um, I think I'm gonna go bold so I can test out this shade. So this is Ellen. I don't have the right brush. So I'm gonna have to use my fingers. It's actually not as bold as I thought it would be. These are really creamy formulations if you haven't tried it, they're so nice. I do find that they stay too. So let's see, I think actually I'm gonna add, um, where is it, I'm gonna add the other one the Sakura in the middle. Adding a lighter color in the middle gives the appearance of more full lips. I, um, For me, I like that look. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just dab it in the center. See, it instantly gives like that look at the bottom a lot, um, is more full. So that is it, the spring collection, Jane Iredale. If you guys have any questions, let me know. We, um, we carry the full line, so we've got it here for you and I can help you find the shades that you want. Um, you can check us out at healthyglowskinstore.com and make sure to subscribe to us for our upcoming videos. Have a great day.